Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy, and today I'm talking about my zone lockdown combination. Part one of the combo is the Shogun inertial shotgun, and part two is the dynamite, or what I like to call the body launcher, for obvious reasons. But obviously, the main focus will be on the Shogun and how it now performs after the TTK patch. I'm not going to give you all the in depth stats for this, as this isn't an initial review. If you want to see what I said about the Shogun when it was released, there'll be a link to that review in the description below. Just remember that shotguns now all fire 12 pellets in an inner and outer cone rather than having all different amounts of pellets and firing in a random spread. And this is the key here. With shotguns now doing more predictable and reliable damage, it opens the door to a meta shift, and the Shogren appears to have benefited from this. I was receiving a fair few comments saying that this weapon was fantastic now and I just couldn't ignore it any longer. And it turns out that I'm super pleased I threw it back on because it feels good. I rate it far more highly now than I did before, as it now feels like it has a near perfect perfect balance of rate of fire, damage, and range, especially for the sort of zone control playstyle that you're seeing implemented in the background footage. The Shogren is capable of handling a vast amount of the situations that you're likely to run into playing like this. It can often one or two tap people from a bit of range, has the ability to fire multiple shots for people at the outer limits of shotgun range, and of course you can absolutely spam the trigger for the more hectic up close encounters. So you head to an important lane, objective, or hot zone on the map and claim it for your team. You can set traps with your dynamite and have your shogren as your hardline defense option for when the enemy breaks through. Or vice versa, you can use the shogren as your main damage dealer and then use dynamite as your panic response for blasting someone away when needed. It's a well-rounded combination and it can lend itself to two different mindsets. You can play safe, employ defensive strategies and total up massive KD ratios whilst holding an area down for your team. Or you can give in to the bloodlust and charge at the enemy, accepting the possibility of dying frequently in order to give yourself the opportunity for fast exciting kill streaks. The choice is pretty much yours and you can switch between the two as you please or depending on whatever is required at that point of the match that you're in. Obviously this combination of the Shogren and Dynamite will work best in confined areas, in corridors, in building based combat and such like and thus a decent shout can be to throw gas on as well if it's part of how you like to play. Your shotgun nor your Dynamite require you to aim down sight in order to be used effectively whereas your enemies are far more likely to suffer without the option. So they can either take damage or lose some lethality. All in all, whether you choose to use gas or not, this zone control combination can be highly effective in the right hands. Moreover, the Shogren is just an absolute killing machine now in my opinion and I highly advise you shotgun enthusiasts give it another go if you haven't already. Whether you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below how you feel about the Shogren at this point, how you feel about this combination and how you feel about shotguns in general post TTK patch. Now we need to quickly shoot over to the board of awesome to show our respect to the fantastic people who choose to support the channel on Patreon. They do so purely because they want to help to keep the channel going and I salute them all for that. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome then the link to the Patreon page can be found in the description below and in my pinned comment. Once you're there you can support the channel for as little as $1 a month if you so wish. It truly helps, I promise you. If not then please don't worry about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to turn on notifications if you haven't already so you don't miss future videos and feel free to like, favourite and subscribe. I'm Get good guy and I'll see you next time. Laters.